Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my videos. So you just purchased a VRChat avatar and you would want to set it up in Unity, basically upload it to VRChat and get it running. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do this. We're going to go through the entire process. Just a quick note before we start, this is strictly PC only. If you would want to learn how to make quest avatars, I will have two videos linked in the description. Anyway, let's get started. So you either purchase the avatar on Gumroad or on the booth. Both of these platforms contain VRChat avatars. And once you purchase a VRChat avatar, you should be granted with something like this on the Gumroad. You're just going, you're looking for a Unity package. So it should say the name of the avatar and then Unity package and Blender. You're just going to go ahead and download that, those files. If your avatar contains a license key, so you'll see a license key here. And if you're wondering what that means, you're able to use this license key in a Discord of the person that created said avatar. Most of the avatars contain like communities. So you're going to use this license key and you're going to verify in their Discord server that you purchased a avatar and then it unlocks a bunch of channels in the Discord. After that, you should have the files on your desktop. Just unzip them. After you've done that, you're going to need a few things. So I already assumed that you have Unity and Unity Hub. However, if you don't, I will leave a link in the description. Go get Unity Hub and get Unity. And you will also need VRChat Creator Companion. To get the Creator Companion, you're going to go on the official VRChat website. You're going to go down into Downloads and you're going to go Download Creator Companion. If you would want to do the SDK manually, you are able to do that as well, as you can see. So if you want to create a project separately, not through basically not using Creator Companion, you can get a manual SDK and do that as well. But I would suggest Creator Companion simply because everything is already made for you and built in. So once you have the Creator Companion, the Unity version we're using is 22.3.22 F1. That is the version I would recommend you to use for your VRChat avatars. And you're just going to go create a new project. This is going to be the name of your project right here uh, where it's saved. And then here you can pick what you want. So if it's avatars, you go avatar project. If it's worlds, you go worlds. But in this case, we're going to go avatars and you're just going to go create a project. After that, you're going to be greeted with this window here. Now there's uh, all sorts of different versions here, like VR chat face tracking, audio link, uh, gesture manager, but you're just looking for the VRChat SDK because that's basically what you need. And here you can change the Unity versions. So you're just gonna go open project and I wish to continue and just let it do its thing. Once the project boots up, you should see something like this. And from here, you're gonna go VRChat SDK and show control panel. Sometimes it's already up here by default. And in this window, you're gonna just log in into your Unity. So your username and password for VRChat. After that, you're going to go back to your files that you unzipped. And usually you, the files will contain a Substance Painter file, a Blender file, and a Unity project. So you will notify that it's a Unity project by this little Unity logo. You're going to take that and just go ahead and drag it in your project like so. In this window, just go Import and then let it do its thing. After the avatar is finished importing, you should see a little folder that's called Avatars or the, it'll be the name of the avatar and you're looking for a scene that looks something like this, double click that, and here you have your avatar. Now, if you're looking for a shader to use with your avatar, I would highly recommend Payomi. Some avatars already come with Payomi. You can check that by typing in the search bar Payomi. If you don't see anything, then you would need to import Payomi by going on their website. I will have it linked in the video's description, and you're just going to import Payomi by dragging in your assets, hitting import, and then let it do its thing. So here we have our avatar. If you would want to change its materials, you're going to double click on it. And then on the right side where it says material, you're going to go Payomi, Payomi outline. If it looks too flat, if you don't like how flat it looks, just extend it right here. Go shading, shading, and instead of flat, make sure it's realistic. And now you're going to get that realistic look and it's not going to be too toony. Now, Payomi shaders is a lot to get into, and I have separate videos on how Payomi works and like cool tricks you can do with it. So go check it out. So just so that I don't waste people's times in this one. But Payomi is pretty great and it's a good shader. You can also double click on the avatar and extend the blend shapes on the side here. And you can go through these basically, uh, basically they're called blend shapes and you'll see what it does on the left side. So some avatars have like a thicker arms or thicker legs or thinner arms, whatever. Could just go through these and that's it. After you have your textures uh, and, if, and you exported them from Substance Painter or whatever, you're going to drag them in here. 
you're going to double press on your avatar, extend its materials, and just drag that material in Albedo. And as you can see, that's uh, our own textures that we have. Another thing I would suggest is to make sure they're set to 2K resolution, just so that it's not too big in file size. If you would like to check to see if it has fizz bones, back in the day they were called dynamic bones, now they're called fizz bones. You just want to press on your avatar and make sure this little ball here is ticked on. And if you see these types of like, basically you see these circles and lines, that those are your fizz bones. And to even further test this, you can go into play mode and then moving the avatar left and right, and you will see that it moves its bones. Avatars already come with fist bones pre-made already so you don't need to import anything separately if for some reason your avatar doesn't have fist bones it's really easy to add them you're going to extend your avatar on the left go armature hips spine chest neck head and now of course depends what you want to apply the fist bones on you're going to find the bone of on the right side you're going to go add component and then vrc fist bones note that some avatars fist bones are located like once you extend the avatar you'll see body feathers dynamics and now if you select the dynamics you'll see all the fist bones on the right side here and you can press on these little three dots here and then remove component if you don't want some of the bones on your avatar. Now, if the avatar that you purchased comes with multiple versions like this, you would preferably want to click on the avatar and hide it here, like the avatars that you don't want to upload and only show the one that you want to upload. For example, this one right here. If you're happy with your avatar and if you're happy how everything looks, go to your SDK. I'm just going to quickly log in. You're going to go into Builder. Give your avatar a name, give it a description. Usually I go who the uploader was. If it has some of these things here, you may want to make sure you check those. Uh, private if you want to leave it private and public if you want to have it public. You can go select thumbnail if you want to use an already downloaded photo from your desktop. Or you can go capture from a scene, which will just uh, capture this camera right here. If there's some errors, you're just going to go auto fix. You're going to go take this little button here and go build and publish. And as you can see, our VRChat avatar is successfully uploaded. We're going to go on VRChat to quickly test it. And as you can see, here's the avatar that we uploaded. And that's it. There you go. If I did skip out on some things, I do apologize. But all the things that you need are going to be linked down in the video's description. And it should all work perfectly fine. If I did skip out on some things, I most likely have a separate video on my YouTube. So just check out my YouTube for more tutorials based around VRChat. Anyway, I hope that this helped you out. Let me know down in the comments what you think, and I'll see you next time. Peace.